speculation surrounding Anthony Edwards in this Miami Heat organization continues to grow by the day as now we had another credible media source out of the South Florida area come out and really just add fuel to this fire. We'll break down all the moving parts on this episode of Heat Digest, so let's not waste any time and let's get to it and break down the ant speculation that continues to grow. So if you guys missed the last episode of Heat Digest, I broke down recent quotes from Bill Simmons that were paraphrased on Twitter that caused an uproar of speculation surrounding the idea of Anthony Edwards possibly landing in Miami to play alongside Bam Adebayo for Colt Spolstra. And now the reason this really got started, again, off of the Bill Simmons podcast where Bill Simmons threw out the idea. And again, it was really just pitching the idea of, hey, we see a young player in Anthony Edwards playing alongside a young player in Bam Adebayo under the coaching staff of obviously Steve Kerr, but also Eric Spolstra, the head coach for the Miami Heat, obviously. And he just pitched the idea, laid it out like that and said, when are we know? When are we going to start hearing and seeing the rumors and speculation flying about this organization and Anthony Edwards? And that's when the onslaught really started. And then things kept going. And obviously now in recent days, Dan Lebetard has come out and he's really just added fuel to that fire surrounding Anthony Edwards, possibly landing in Miami. Now we have an article written by Scott Salomon, which really breaks down a lot of it. And I also have a quote from Dan Lebetard himself saying, media personality spec speculates Anthony Edwards gets traded to the Miami Heat. With the Minnesota Timberwolves ownership in disarray, there's speculation Anthony Edwards wants out of the Twin Cities. He is said to want to relocate to Miami and play alongside Bam Adebayo. Now this was written three days ago on August 9th. It is now August 12th. I'm bringing you guys this video. And again, this is just the beginning of what seems like to be a long, long run of speculation that is going to come because of these quotes coming from Dan Levitard. So we'll now get into it. And I'm going to first, before we get into the rest of this article by Scott Solomon, we are going to break down the actual quote from Dan Levitard. And he said this in just before the rest of the quote that we're going to get to in the rest of that article. Again, Dan Levitard says, and I quote, I have partial information on something that will be explosive if it happens. And I'm going to just set you up for something here that is speculative right now, but is something to keep an eye on. And again, that is the whole quote from Dan Levitard before we get into the nitty gritty of the rest of what he says. But again, it is speculative. It is not. It is all speculation as of now. He claims to have text messages that have a lot of substance that could end up going a long way in this entire situation between Anthony Edwards, the Minnesota Timberwolves, and really everyone in the league because everyone is going to be a buyer if they hear Anthony Edwards is in any way possibly going to be moved. There is no way around it. It doesn't matter what the team's built like. They are going to move mountains in order to have a really just – a bid in on Anthony Edwards because of how good he really is and how young he is and the upside that he has coming with him. Again, he's 23 years of age. And again, he has so much career in front of him. But now let's get to the rest of the article written by Scott Salomon as he goes on to say, apparently there's an ownership dispute in Minnesota between Glenn Taylor and former New York Yankees third baseman Alex Rodriguez. They are in litigation over Rodriguez's group attempt to buy majority control from Taylor. The case is supposed to go to arbitration in February. If Taylor wins the case, Lebetard said team president Tim Conley and Edwards are both going to want out of Minnesota. Now, let's break down this really quick before we get to the next quote from this article. I This is not... Uh, he says, apparently there's an ownership dispute. That is not a, that is a fact that is actually going on back in 2021. If you guys aren't aware, and I, first of all, I highly suggest just Google it. It is everywhere. This is obviously, this was a screenshot from today when I was just looking for another source to cite in this video. It never ends. There are, there's articles that are three years old. There's articles that are a year old. There's articles that are just two to a month old talking about this subject. And again, there's a lot going on because of how how substantial this really is because again this is bigger than basketball this is bigger than just a player doesn't want to play because of a coach a coaching move or an organizational move this is coming down to whether or not the team president is going to stay due to whoever is now the majority owner of this team it's a very we don't see this a lot in the NBA and really in professional sports but again when it does happen it is bigger than the actual sport because it's it's coming before the team is actually getting on the floor. And because of that, it's adding obstruction. And again, it just become it can become a very sticky situation to say it bluntly. But again, 
very, very interesting. And it is a fact that they are actually... It's not going to ha it's not going to end in a firm handshake between these two parties. Let's just say that they've gone to legal battles. There's a lot and a lot of money involved in these legal battles. And again, it is not pretty. So now let's get to the rest of the article as he goes on to quote Levitard and he says, Levitard said he has, and I quote, received a couple of text about it and it is worth watching, end of quote. Levitard also said with Pat Riley advancing in AIDS, the time to pull the trigger on a deal like this is now. He said Riley will not sit by and watch the Philadelphia 76ers, the Boston Celtics, and the Milwaukee Bucks just run away with the Eastern Conference. Going on to finally quote saying, the Miami Heat have been left behind here by transactions, and I do not think that Pat Riley is going to sit out and watch, end of quote, Levitard said. I just don't believe they are going to sit out and watch. It's not coming from the Miami Heat. I have not had a chance to report it. And that is the end of quote once again from Dan Levitard, a local guy from here in South Florida. And again, he has been in the media game around the South Florida area for a very, very long time. Like, before I was even born, without a doubt. He has been in this game. And again, he's good at what he does. But, it again, and like he said earlier, like in this quote we cited earlier, and again, this is fr from Dan Levitard just before he went on to uh, say the quote we just read about the text messages he has gotten. He says, again, and I quote, I have partial information on something that will be explosive if it happens. And I'm just going to set you up for something here that is speculative right now, but is something to keep an eye on. Again, I cannot stress this enough. Do not destroy me in the comments trying to tell me that I've said that Ant is on his way to Miami. I would love to see Anthony Edwards in a Miami Heat uniform playing for this Miami Heat organization. I think that would probably be the best possible move out of anyone in the league for this Miami Heat team to go get. Not just because of the skill set. That is obvious. Without a doubt, he's one of the best players in the world when he's on the basketball floor. But the character, the mentality, the attitude that he carries with him night in and night out, regardless of whoever is on the other side of the floor, coaching or playing, he is always able and willing to step up and be that guy. And again, at 23 years of age, he is only going to get better. He's only going to grow with the experience and the knowledge he's going to gain. This is he is a special talent. And again, this the problems Minnesota is having with the ownership issue may be bigger than we actually know when it comes down to the actual floor level of the actual team. When it comes to the team itself, the coaching staff, and the coaching staff outside of just the head coach and the assistant coaches. This could be a massive deal, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. And again, Dan Levitard went on to say, and I don't have this quote pulled up in front of me, but I can tell you now, watching, going back, and looking at the footage from the quotes that we've pulled today, he says, he suggests at least, that February of this up-and-coming year will be a time frame in which we should definitely keep an eye on the situation going on out in Minnesota because, like we, I can cite this saying, uh, control lit litigation. Uh, the case is supposed to go to arbitration in February. So again, he threw out the date of right around Valentine's Day is what Dan Lebetard had thrown out. And again, it would match up. That's right around the middle of February. And again, that is the time in which we're looking at for this arbitration to actually start for this trial. But again, this is not going to be two business partners business partners, excuse me, ending a deal that didn't go too well in a firm handshake and just walking their separate ways. There's a lot of money involved in this lawsuit. There's a lot of money involved in the ownership of a any sports team, but specifically in this case, the Minnesota Timberwolves. So again, this is something to watch out for. Again, it is speculation for now, but again, as the days go by, things could grow. The, the situation going on with ownership could full-on collapse and things could not go well for this Minnesota Timberwolves team we just actually don't know how much of a role it's actually going to play on the actual the team itself and the coaching staff itself again we have to wait and see as the days go by to see how it actually plays out but again that'll be it for this episode of Heat Digest let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this entire situation as well as what you guys would love or if you guys would love excuse me to see Anthony Edwards in a Miami Heat jersey I'll be it for this episode of Heat Digest. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching.